this is Piney Prepper Bill. I'm out for my walk today. And I want to talk about the school shooting the other day. My take on it. Uh, I was watching Secret Stuff, and I agree with... He did a video on what he thought about kids today and what we should do and gun control and people blaming the Republicans and I agree with a lot of what he was saying you know that gun control is not going to help gun control is not going to keep you safe uh, if you I mean statistics if you look at a lot of the crime rates and shootings and killings a lot of these states have some of the strongest gun control laws and they got the most crime and most killings and most most murders you can take all the guns away it's not going to help i mean look at not that was it last year the year before that guy that took uh, a van and drove through a crowd of people you don't need a gun to do certain things you can use knives you can use machetes make bombs I'm sure you can go on the internet and figure out how to make a bomb uh, there's things you can do to school bus and take a bunch of people out at one time uh, it's getting a little windy it, we're supposed to be getting a nasty nasty storm but I agree somewhat with parenting the way kids are brought up but that's what I used to agree with and I do to an extent but the thing is I know to personal experience I've had friends in school I mean they had older brothers younger sisters brought up in the same household you know two of the kids are fine one of them was a lunatic. I mean, a friend of mine had a younger brother who would terrorize us. Now, I was bullied in school. Some years uh, I wasn't, some years I was. I hated certain kids. Um, I wished the worst for them. But not once, I mean, my dad had a shitload of guns. Oh, there's a nice puppy. Okay, there's a guy back there with the dog. The dog was playing in the water. But, like I said, I was terrorized and bullied as a kid. Certain years I was, certain years I wasn't. Uh, some kids I really hated. I wished the worst for them. And we had gun I had guns. My dad had guns. Not once did I take a gun and go into school or wait for that kid to come outside and do anything to him. Uh, first of all, I knew my dad would kick my ass if he didn't kill me. So maybe that's good parenting. Um, but there's just so many things going on in the world today. When I was a kid, there was no bipolar. There was, I mean, I guess everything's diagnosed as bipolar and all kind of ADD, ADHD, and whatever. Weird looking tree, isn't it? But a friend of mine, next door neighbor, him and his sister were fine, but his brother, his younger brother, used to terrorize us. He was a nasty freaking kid. And he would flatten your tires on your bike. The mother was like, oh, take Bobby out with you. And we're like, no. But he would, like, knock you off your bike and laugh. But he ended up mutilating animals, killing animals. Um, you know, he terrorized a couple kids in the neighborhood, younger kids. Uh, he was a bad kid. Now, I know... Uh, a couple other people that were, their parents were killed in a car accident, or the mother was. Something happened to the father, a couple years later the mother was killed in a car accident. 
the grandparents took care of the two kids. One kid was fine, the other one was a lunatic. Um, another friend of mine always wanted to hurt people, always wanted to hurt you and would laugh. Wanted to go in the army, gung-ho, military, and the military wouldn't take him. And he ended up raping and killing a nine-year-old girl. So, and, you know, there's my ex, you know, she's got two brothers and a sister. The brothers are fine, the sister's fine, lives out in Texas. But my ex was a narcissist, she was crazy. She was a thief, a liar, uh, and then got into drugs, couldn't trust her with anything. Playing, then she started playing the system. Uh, and they all had the same parents, same grandparents, same upbringing. So I can't say everything is the upbringing. There's something else going on. Like this one kid used to bully us. I don't remember him ever being bullied. He was the bully. And he was ooh, a bunch of turtles. You won't be able to see it with this phone. Uh, this is a different world than what I lived in growing up, in my opinion. There's just so many drugs, so many... I mean, I guess there was drugs out when I was a kid, too, but... Seems like everywhere you look, everybody's on drugs. Everybody's got something to, some kind of disorder. And it's okay, oh, well, you know, Bobby just, you know, did this and that to the, the neighbor's cat and dog and hung it on a thing and he gutted a pig. Well, you know, he's got issues, you know. He's got mommy issues, he's got daddy issues. And I always said, we need to bring back the insane asylums. That's where these people belong. But like Rick, <laughs> Secret Stuff said, you know, they're just going to label you and put you in there. He's right. So, I don't know what you can do, what you can't. But yeah, there's an underlying problem with a lot of kids today. And maybe it's been going on forever. We just really never noticed it. We didn't have social media back then. And maybe that's a problem, social media. Everybody's posting their life. Everybody's posting what they should do. How you should feel about me. I believe that I should marry this tree. I am in love with this tree and you should accept me for that. If I was to say that to my dad growing up or my grandparents, they would have smothered me and shoved me under the frickin' pool or something. You'd never find me again. Maybe we're too lax. Maybe we're too... Oh, uh, it's okay. Let these people be what they want. Let them wear a dress to school. Let them wear makeup. Maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should be going back to... I mean, I don't want to bring religion into stuff. But like family values, don't have that anymore. And you know, and secret stuff is talking about, you know, maybe we should have a license. You, you know, you need a license to drive a car, a license to deliver fuel. You, you need a license, you need a license to fish. But of course, if you have a license to have kids, only the rich and elite are gonna have kids. They'll just allow us poor people to have kids so we can work for them. But they're, like he was saying, I know people that had five kids, didn't work, collect money from the state, state was paying for the kids, and they weren't taking care of the kids. Grandmom downstairs, grandmom had a one bedroom apartment taking care of six kids. shouldn't allow it the state the government shouldn't be paying for this or us we're paying for these people to do drugs collect benefits from the state and we're paying for it 
these kids grow up to be drug addicts they kill us but what can you do I don't have the answer <laughs> I don't gun control is not it I had so many friends that were just on social media you find out what your friends really think you know that's why I had to get off of it you think they're real smart and like oh we need to get rid of every gun no nobody should own a gun only ex-police officers and military really I know a couple guys that got out of the military that are a little unstable been in VA hospitals for drugs and they go in there they get hooked on drugs and they go in there to get free drugs you really want them walking around with M16s and shit I know a couple ex-crooked cops and they don't think they think only cops and ex-cops should have guns too they say civilians shouldn't have guns at all yeah we need guns to protect ourselves from them because when they have a bad day some of them just think they're um, you know they're the kids that get picked on in school they want to become a cop and they can't pass the test so what they do they become like a mall cop they think they got all this authority I know a couple of people that I know two two of my well not friends but two kids I went to school with became state troopers you would not want to get pulled over by them they had a bad childhood everybody picked on them But there's all kinds of mental problems with kids today. I don't know what the answer is. Gun control is not it. I mean, you can take the guns away. And you can have people get pissed off at you. Have 20 or 30 people out front inside your house or outside your house with machetes, rocks, Molotov cocktails going to set your house on fire. You might need a gun or something to protect yourself. I don't know. Things aren't looking good. We keep catering to these people that have mental issues, as far as I'm concerned, and give them what they want. Now, this kid in the school that killed all these people. He was a cross dresser or whatever he was. He killed his grandmother. Where did he get the guns? I don't know that. I don't know the whole story. So I'm not really going to. I don't know much about it. But where did he get the guns? 18. I guess you can get them legally. I think we need strict gun laws. But, you know, you can, well, here in New Jersey, uh, they legalize marijuana, so I don't know what it is now. But, in New Jersey, if you were to smoke pot, if you wanted to legally smoke pot, the medical marijuana, you had to get a card from the doctor. But that card, you gave up your rights to gun ownership. You're on a list, you're no longer allowed to buy it. A gun and any guns you had you have to turn in or get rid of so if you smoke pot where you know you get high what are you going to do rob a hot pocket or french fries or something yeah smoking pot you can't have a gun but if you get drunk drunken driving you run over a kid, kill the kid. You can have four, five, six drunken driving tickets, manslaughter charges. You're still allowed to have a gun. I've seen a lot of bar fights over uh, beer muscles. People have a couple too much to drink. The muscles get bigger and bigger. And they get fights. People pulling knives out. People pulling guns out. You know, you can still have a gun. 
I know people that get drunk and get physically violent. These people should have a record. These people shouldn't have a gun, maybe. Look, if you want a gun, you got to give up drinking. Or you can drink, but you can't get in trouble. I don't know. I don't have the answer. You know, every time I think I have the answer, somebody says, oh, what about this? I'm like, yeah, you're right. That's not a good idea. It's nice out here. It's 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 going to pour. I just saw my wife. Oh, she's working today up at the office. She said almost every campsite's going to be full today. I'm out here. There's nobody here. Not us. Well, there's one guy over there that had a dog walking a dog. But <laughs> there's there's nobody here right now. But we're supposed to get a nasty, nasty storm within the hour so what are your thoughts gun control is that oops is gun control the answer you can take a bus shit even if you don't have a driver's license if you're you could lose your driver's license you can still get alcohol you can still shoot up drugs you can still get a gun. I mean, you could steal a school bus with kids on it. I mean, my wife and I watch forensic files a lot. The old forensic files. And it's amazing. And the other one was snapped, where people just snap. Great upbringing. You can be rich. You can be lower class. It doesn't matter. These people, for some reason, just snap. Another couple, he was like a Marine. Uh, him and his wife uh, killed another couple just for the hell of it, for a sexual enhancement. They were stealing, they had money, and they were stealing shit just for, to get a high. And that was enough, so they said, you know what? Let's kill somebody. And they killed another couple that were on vacation. You know, you see people killing their grandparents, there's one kid asked his mother for money. Was gotten. She said, "No, you're going to use it for drugs." And trying to get him off drugs. Well, you know, he left, went back there, killed his mother for money. She wouldn't let me go to the concert. She wouldn't give me money for drugs. So, is it the upbringing? I don't know. It could be with some of these people, but I think some people are. I think some people are born with some type of imbalance. Uh, is it evil? Possession? I don't know. I don't know. The wind's picking up. Gypsy moss everywhere. Pollen everywhere. It rained the other day and knocked some of the pollen down. But that airplane's flying over our neighborhood and spraying for the gypsy moss. And then it poured and poured three hours later. And everywhere you go, I'm walking, I got gypsy moths all over me. You know, the caterpillars. I don't know. I know I keep saying that. I don't have the answers. And every time I think I do, somebody's like, well, what about this? You're right. So in Santa Asylum, as much as I think these people need electric shock therapy, They'd probably end up putting me in there. All us preppers. <laughs> You're stockpiling food. You bought six gallons of gas and put it in your garage for a rainy day. You need therapy. So he's right about that. I don't know. This whole world just seems completely different. It's like I was... I woke up, I went to bed one night and woke up, now I'm in a completely different planet. You know, to me the 70s and 80s were so much better, but maybe I was just oblivious to all of it. Maybe this shit's been going on. I mean, there's been shootings and what that one kid in the 70s, that one kid in the 70s with the clock tower and they did this song about it. I mean, some of this stuff's been going on forever, but... 
gypsy moth. There's gypsy moths everywhere. Everywhere you walk, you see them hanging on their webs and stuff. So this is Pony Prepper. Bill, you got any answers? What are your thoughts on these school shootings? What can we do to stop it? Can you stop it? Can you slow it down? You know, you can tell me gun control if you think that's if you think that's the solution. I don't, but that's my opinion. Uh, you know, like I said, a lot of these states, you know, they got the places with the most crime had the strictest gun laws. So, I don't know. This is Pony Prepper Bill, and uh, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.